what's up guys on today's episode we're gonna be removing are you gonna zoom in there we go we're gonna be removing the um, fuel rail right here and we're also gonna be um, draining the radiator water because we're actually getting close to removing the head I've already removed the valve cover and then um, as everything progresses I'll be uh, explaining uh, a little bit more as to why uh, but bottom line is oil was coming out through the exhaust uh, through uh, cylinder number five so we're actually trying to figure out what the problem is and what stuff we need to replace um, we're gonna check up the car from the driver's side front over here behind the front wheel and then we're gonna drain the we're gonna remove the the, the drain bolt from the radiator also I was thinking about doing the oil filter housing gasket um, if you guys want me to do that uh, uh, hit me down in the comments we have to remove this bolt this bolt this bolt over here this bolt over here to remove the fuel rail with the injectors by the way before you remove the fuel rail make sure you open your gas cap on the car to relieve any pressure 10 mil last two bolts were strangely not that tight all right guys so next step is the following we unbolted the fuel rail all these bolts as you can see it's a little bit separated from the head itself I got a little bit ahead of myself with you guys I was having problems removing the fuel rail because the injectors were stuck all I did was put in a breaker bar through here like halfway inside and then just slightly tap it and then they all came loose just make sure uh, you're careful with it because you don't want the injectors to uh, bend on you they're supposed to come out straight up that I would recommend you do is replace these uh, injector rings so you're gonna need six you're gonna have to replace them it's a great time to clean that up it's actually pretty dirty from the from all the dirt that we get here um, where I live so now that we have done that we're gonna continue by draining the radiator fluid you're gonna find the drain plug right here on the driver's side so we're gonna undo this bolt right here let the water come inside the container and then we're gonna go back up and continue with removing the hoses from the top of the head so there you go clean OEM coolant as you can see let me coolant is draining we're gonna continue by removing uh, this hose right here two bolts cam sensors one underneath the uh, intake camshaft one underneath the exhaust camshaft which is right here and the vinyl solenoids from here we're gonna do this uh, hose right here and then that hose down there simple this up from here needle nose pliers there we go all right so we pulled it up and now we gotta take this off simple we push this uh, we push the little clip back in so that we don't lose it there we go just be careful Pull the clip up. There we go. Don't be so aggressive with it like I am. Take your time, you know. Take your time, do it slow. Uh, prevent yourself from breaking stuff. Nothing broke, thank God. Alright, so like I told you, uh, take your time, make sure you disconnected this first. Removing um, all these accessories from here, this water hose right there, 
uh, like I said, the cam sensors for the intake, for the exhaust, the vanos, and the clip over here on the side that holds down some of the some of the cables. As you can see, this little black um this little black cover thing here. See the little bolt right there? That's what we have to take off. So 10 mils here. Let's see if it is. Oh, it actually is a 10. These bolts have washers, so be careful not to drop them, not to lose them. If not, you're going to have to replace the bolt. So here's one. Focus, you shit. Alright, so we removed the bolts, and now we have to pull this out. There we go. Finally came off. It actually looks pretty clean. So we're gonna take this, move this a little bit down. All right. So we removed the bolt over here, uh, the vanos, solenoids over here on this side. Uh, our two uh, 10 millimeter bolts. Uh, just make sure that when you take them out. Uh, you grab the little gasket. It has like a little round gasket. All right, so we removed this uh, hose here. Disconnected the cam sensors over here. We took down. We took out the valve cover. It's all free now. We have to take off the uh, the tension bolt that's over here for the chain, and that's going to be a size. It's going to be a size. 27 right there this bolt is not that tight so just make sure you have a rag in handy because there's gonna be oil coming out and this is what you're left with this actually has tension for whenever you um, press in the bolt releases pressure through here through this hole right here and this comes down. We're gonna pull up the clip over here. This clip over here, pop it up and then pull it out. There we go, it's popped. There we go, it's out of there clean this up I don't know if you can see but all these metal shavings came out from cylinder 5 